Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, H.H. The Great, man. Back here with another video, man. Uh, I got a real quick unboxing here that I'm going to do for you guys and show y'all what I got. Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to just, I'm going to say this already. It's, it's not shoes. So if you're looking for shoes, this is not the video for you. So you can go ahead and, and back out of it if you need to. If you want to stay with me, then go ahead and stay with me. I appreciate it. But uh, no, this is not shoes at all, man. Uh, I am very, very, very excited about this right here, man. I'm very excited. So, you know, enough with the talk. I'm going to go ahead on, man, and bust this joint open. Hold up. All right, got it open. Now I'm going to pull it out and show y'all guys what it is I got. Boom. Nice and bubble wrapped. How they should fucking package most shoes. But uh, as you can see it already through the bubble wrap. It is another replica, replica, replica title belt from the WWE. So I guess that makes me a bitch ass, fake ass nigga because I'm buying replica belts, right? Yeah, whatever. So, hold on, let me cut this bubble wrap, y'all. can see there oh my god man Woo. that is for you guys that are in the belt community or whatnot you see here this is the WWF attitude era championship belt I will be doing a review the way that I do reviews on this title belt Man, this thing is, again, I'm not surprised. My hands are big, y'all. I got some big-ass hands for my size. And look at that. So that tells you how big this plate is. Okay? So, I mean, I am, I'm not disappointed. The thing is, too, this belt was made in 2001. Uh, I got an absolute, absolute still to win the game to win the game with this belt these belts especially these man these joints oh my god man to try to find them if you look for them man these belts run anywhere from freaking three four even some at 500 bucks just because of wwf and you know on the belt uh I got this belt for a hundred dollars, ninety-nine dollars to be exact, ninety-nine dollars and some change. Like I always say in some of my vids, man, sometimes you have to be patient and good things come to people that do wait. I have waited for this belt, I've lost a lot of auctions on this belt for more money. And now I have this title belt, and I didn't even pay over a hundred dollars for it. This is the the out of all my belts, this is the cheapest that I paid for a belt. And uh, it's it's a, you know I, I absolutely love this belt. Uh, it's one of my favorites. I know I say that with a lot of my belts, but it's one of my favorites. Uh, and I, I'm just man. Like I said, I'm gonna do my review and uh, dedication of this belt into the family like I always do. Uh, of course, I got to clean it up. Uh, for y'all that are, again, that are in the belt community, you know that you know the property of the, of the WWF plate goes here. This one didn't come with it. I got one on the way. So, I'm going to get that. 
I'm gonna tell you right now, the pitchers did not do this belt any justice because this belt is absolutely amazing, man. Absolutely amazing. I just can't believe it's the WWF one. Uh, I know the guy told me that it was a lot. Of, it was a lot of scratches on it, but you guys tell me. Do you see? Do you see a bunch of scratches on there? You know, unless you all up on it. Well, I see something there though. See that? But you probably still can't see it. But yeah, I'm gonna clean it up so it'll be. A, it'll be. It's not as shiny, but it'll be nice and shiny once I get ready to do the the uh the review and the like i said the way i do it uh i dedicate most of these belts to the to certain wrestlers that it reminds me of so stay tuned for that because that is going to actually be a very good one uh or whatnot uh you know the people that have held this belt stone cold uh the rock triple h of course uh chris jericho kurt angle uh, a lot of great champions have held this title. You know what I'm saying? This, you know, this title was, you know, in the best, you know, era of modern, I mean, the, the best era of pro wrestling, the Attitude Era. So, you know, I don't think I missed the episode of freaking Raw during the Attitude Era. So, I got my smoking skull, and now I got this one. So, I'm just so excited. So... Y'all got to take it easy, man. Make sure you stay tuned for how I do my reviews on my replica belts and the dedication vid on who I'm going to dedicate this belt to. I know you guys is wondering. I, it's it's one of the guys I said. Maybe it's two. Maybe it's three. I don't know. You have to stay tuned and see. Y'all got to take it easy, man. I know I've been missing in action lately. I've been busy, man, trying to get things, you know, prepared to uh, get ready for school. Uh, I've been busy with my daughter. Uh, you know, doing, you know, cheerleading and stuff. So I've been going out of town pretty much every weekend. Uh, I might have a pickup on the way so far as shoes, but uh, the thing was this. I had, uh, this week I had a choice, and I know some of you guys in the sneaker game probably call me stupid, but I really don't give a fuck. I had a choice between this or to get my cool grades. <laughs> Look what's here. You know what I'm saying? Those cool grades will still be there, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, you know, I buy what I like and what I want because it's my money. I get the fuck up and go to work every damn morning. You don't. You don't sleep in the bed. You don't pay my bills. You don't rock my shoes or any of that crap. So if anybody wants to make a smart comment trying to say I'm stupid, fuck you ahead of time. So anyway, uh, yeah, man. So y'all make sure y'all stay and, and uh, you know, look out for the video, man. But like I said, man, look at that. It's the WWF one, not the WWE. I know some of y'all are like, what the fuck is he talking about? This is a WWF Federation, not entertainment. Federation. These belts are freaking rare to find. You do not come across this belt that often. You can find a WWE one. You can go on WWE shop and buy that. But you will not find this one. These things are hard to come by. And it means so much because I've had so many opportunities to get this belt. And I just, just didn't win it. So to finally have it sitting here, man, means a lot. So, yep, that's my unboxing, man. Uh, Y'all guys take it easy, man. It's your boy, H.H. The Great, man. I'm out. <laughs> Got a price. Everybody's gonna pay.